Hello there. And here we are with uh, the New Testament passage for the day. And we're in still in Mark. And uh, Jesus is on his way with the disciples to Jerusalem. And he's on the way to Jerusalem to die on the cross. And there's a very interesting little verse uh, uh, that says this, with Jesus leading the way. Now, if I was going to my death, if I was going to my execution, I would go as slowly as I could. People would have to drag me. But Jesus was leading the way to Jerusalem. He was eager to go. He was eager to make the sacrifice. He was eager to die and rise from the dead so that we might be free. And then he tells them, uh, he gathers the disciples together and he says how he's going to die, how he's going to be flogged, how he's going to be mocked, um, uh, how he's going to be handed over to the Gentiles and he's going to be spat on. He knew what was going to happen and yet he still went. He knew how awful it was going to be and he went. Why did he go? Why was he rushing up there? Why was he eager? Out of love for us, out of love for you and me. And then dear James and John, the two, the two, two idiots, they say to him, we've got a request for you. Having told them that he's about to die, he said, could one of us sit on your right and the other on your left in glory? And then Jesus is like, can you can you drink the cup I'm going to drink? Can you suffer like I've suffered? You want the glory? Are you prepared to go through the other stuff? And they said, we are. And then he says, well, you're going to. But I don't think it's for me to put you, you who's on the right and who's on the left. And, do you know, they asked to sit on his right and on his left in glory. But just a short time later, there were two others who were on his right and on his left. And they were the two thieves who were crucified on either side. And uh, that's the, um, the, the dichotomy, if you like. Uh, between their request and the reality and the other disciples were so cross when they heard that that James and John had asked this and Jesus had to tell them again guys it's not about being the greatest it's not about being the best it's not about being the most important I'm going to die a criminal's death stop thinking about glory give your lives over pour your lives out for the sake of others if you want to be like me and then as they're on their way there's a guy called Bartimaeus who's blind and he's so desperate when he hears Jesus coming he's shouting at the top of his voice he loses all dignity Jesus Jesus have mercy on me son of David have mercy on me and they all say shut up shut up be quiet but Jesus hears and he delivers him he delivers him he sets him free he gets his sight back and Jesus, on the way to the cross, he's still changing people's lives and setting people free because he is the God of love.